The main counter section in your edit window in Pro Tools is this section up here. This will show you uh, whereabouts in your track you're up to. It will follow your, um, your cursor if you click down on a region. It will also follow um, if you press play or record. I've got mine set to bars and beats. If you wanted to set that to say um, minutes and seconds, you can go up to this uh, little triangle here and then change that to minutes and seconds. Uh, it's also got a selection of time code, uh, feet frame and samples. So whatever you need. You'll also find this main counter down here on the floating transport. Uh, it's right here. And that's pretty much exactly the same thing as up the top. And when you change that, it will change the one up the top. Uh, the kind of cool thing down here is this little section. This is the sub counter. So you could set the, the main counter to bars and beats and the sub counter to minutes and seconds. So you'll be able to know whereabouts in the song you're up to and how much time has gone past. So yeah, that's kind of handy. And when you change uh, from bars and beats uh, to minutes and seconds or so on, uh, you'll notice that it changes this meter up here. So it's set to bars and beats and there's a meter right across the top. Um, and that will show, so that's bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. Change that to minutes and seconds. And then it's got the time across there. Um, and if you go up to here, this little triangle and click down on that, you can also add, say, so that's on minutes and seconds. You can also add bars and beats to that meter up there. So you can see them both. Um, you can add all the rest of the things that um, will show up in the main counter. Samples, yep. So yeah, that can be useful. Um, I'll just turn them off. And then um, by default, it will show a tempo meter right across your session. Um, so to change the tempo, you'd go uh, along this meter and find this little red triangle. Double click on that. Type in your tempo, press enter. And if you want to do a tempo change, so the session is at 130 BPM at the moment and say, I want to do a tempo change at bar four, which is there. I want to change that to 140 BPM. I'd go up to the tempo meter and go across here to this plus button and that adds a tempo change and then type in the new tempo and then enter and then that will be the new tempo for the rest of the session until you change it again or you can just leave it like that. And then underneath that is the markers section. Markers are pretty good to use for um, marking out different sections in a song or different sections in an audio recording like uh, uh, in dialogue or whatever, you, whatever you're recording. Um, so as you're playing or recording, uh, you can go up here and press this plus button and it'll add a, add a uh, marker. And then you just type in what you want the marker to say, press enter, and then we'll go back. You'll add that marker where you press where you press that plus button. And uh, the shortcut to that is the enter key on the number pad. I don't have a number pad on this MacBook. So um, yeah, but if you did have a full keyboard, then you'd be able to use that. And that's pretty handy. Um, when you're tracking like live music and um, you're listening to different parts of say a guitarist or a singer and um, you want them to go go back and redo one thing as you're tracking you can just press that enter on the number pad and it'll just put a, a, um, a marker there and then once you're done you can just go back to that marker and um, figure out what you want to do but yeah and also I didn't show you um, with the tempo change Say you want to get rid of that, so it's 130, then 140. Click on that little triangle there and then drag it up the top, puts it in the trash. Same thing with the marker. Put that in the trash. Okay, I think that's all for now. Cheers.